Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, you can see we've got some brand new kits that are just in time for Christmas. And I thought I would take a few minutes right now and show you, especially because there's some really cool stuff that has just come out, including this monster. This is a 35th scale kit, guys. This monster box. I mean, you can get a 16th scale kit in this box. It's so big. This is the 35th scale Maz, or mouse in uh, English, uh, German tank. It is with a full interior. That was what I was trying to get out. With a full interior on this thing. So with all the Panthers and Tigers and all the other things that have come out with full interiors, Trumpeter has brought this one out. And you need a box this big to get all the parts inside. So we'll, we'll rip this one open and show you inside on that. Plus also Trumpeter has come out with a new P40F Warhawk in 32nd scale. And our friends over at Das Werk uh, have come out with a brand new World War II uh, tank transporter, or early war one that uh, you can put some Panzer 1s or 2s on, plus you can even put one in the back of the truck. So, And finally there is a 350 scale ship that has just come out and I'm going to butcher this name right now. It's the Schwelzwig Holstein in 350. So uh, we'll take a look at that one as well too. Very excited about uh, these two right here, you know being World War II being my primary uh, area that I like to build in so we've got a lot of parts to tear apart in this kit so let's get started Okay, the very first kit we're going to take a look at is the Panzer VIII Maz from Trumpeter in 35th scale, and it has a full interior inside. First thing I'm going to show you is there is a little photo album of the actual only remaining one left. It's in the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia, and they've got some shots of like the armor thickness, the actual vehicle itself, the internal shots, although I think most of it's been gutted now. And pieces like that. So that is inside there to give you a little inspiration as you go. The very first thing we're going to take a look at is the uh, the hull. And we've got the upper and lower portion of this hull right here. And you can see it's really large. In fact, it's over 10 inches long. And I have to say, this portion of it is very well made, let's call it. Because it's very thick plastic right here to give it some stability. It's a beefy, beefy piece. And you can see how the, the top and bottom will line up just like that and be able to build the inside. We also have our giant turret right here that's been molded. Actually, if you look at it, how it has been molded there, that's kind of interesting. That Usually this is a separate piece, but Trumpeter has molded it all as one. Then we're going to take a look at some of the other parts that kind of duplicate with sprue wise and like for example this one this one is the the batteries and the fuel tank and like some ammunition right here as well and there's quite a few batteries in this vehicle because this was kind of like a hybrid drive it had a a gasoline powered engine that would power electric motors that would run the entire vehicle so you're going to get two sprues of this particular piece right here and and here we are with this sprue. This is our uh, wheels and our suspension parts. And there is a lot of this. There are 12 of this particular sprue in the kit. So quite a few pieces, as you know, on the, the Maz uh, suspension. Because the actual vehicle weighed 188 tons. So just a ridiculously heavy vehicle. Then we're going to come over to this main sprue right here. This is our engine uh, there's, there's the engine block, some of the other internal components, things like that on there. Also, keep in mind, at the end of the video, I will break down the sprues like I normally do on this. Now, here is the sprue that is going to make up, this is the internals of the, uh, the turret. So you'll get that scale thickness of how thick the, uh, the armor was on it. And same thing with the mantlet. It's got an inner and outer piece on the mantlet which was already a part of the turret. So very, very thick. Here's some of the sides. Then we've got this sprue right here. Lots of slide molding I've noticed on this kit. In fact, as we go a little further, I'll start showing you some more of it. Uh, this has obviously been slide molded right here. And we've got some of the other parts there. We have parts for the, that make up the gun. And 
in these really big sides right here. These are, you know, a couple inches thick in real life. So big, big things. And then the uh, the fuel tanks. But then you have a sprue like this. This is made up of the uh, drive uh, drive sprocket and the idler. And all of these parts have all been slide molded. Now we're going to take a look at the tracks. And the tracks are made up of a couple different pieces. You get a big bag like this. I'm trying to pull one of them out here to show you guys. So this is the track. Uh, there's two on each little piece of sprue. And then there's an internal piece right here that gets glued into place. And then this little locking mechanism. This should make the tracks workable based on what I'm looking at right here. That little piece will will fit right inside in there and should lock in and should make the actual tracks workable too. So you get obviously lots of this sprue right here as well because there's quite a few pieces in this. Also, when I was showing you the turret, I should have showed you the, the barrels that are here too. The uh, the big, the Coax 75 and the main gun are both slide molded as well. And also you're gonna get a fret of photo etch with some metal chain and a little tiny sprue of clear parts. So this kit is out right now and it is available. It retails for $186 and I'm kind of shocked by the price by that. It is pretty expensive for this kit. Now obviously they're gonna be on sale for a lot less. We sell them for ourselves for a lot less, but that seems like an awful lot for a 30 fiscal. And I know there's a lot of parts, but a lot of them are duplicated. So if you're a big fan of the, uh, the mouths with a full interior, this will be the, the kit for you. Okay, the next kit we're going to take a look at is from Das Werk. It's a 35th scale Fawn L900 with trailer. And uh, right off the top, this is a brand new, completely everything from the ground up new kit. Uh, it is molded by the same company that makes the stuff for Tacom. So when you look at some of the sprues, you'll be very reminiscent of a Tacom kit. But uh, I know the people that own the company Das Werk and they were kind enough to get us out an early sample copy. This will be out fairly soon if I'm not mistaken, probably within the next month and has a retail of $79. Now this has got a whole host of cool dioramas uh, that you can do with something like this. First of all, the picture alone is, is really cool looking. You've got a Panzer one in the uh, in the back here and a Panzer, actually, I'm sorry, that's a Panzer two in the back there and a Panzer two on the back of the actual trailer. The mere fact that you could get a tank that, I mean, granted it's a small tank, but it's in the back of this truck right here. So think of all the early war dioramas you'll be able to do with something like this. So let's take a look at the sprues. Uh, like I said, very reminiscent of a TACOM kit. We've got our giant pieces right here that are going to make up the trailer. And this is probably the frame to the actual truck itself. And once again, at the very end of the video, we will show you the, the breakdown of the sprues. We've got these massive, massive leaf springs. Now think about this. Don't forget, this is 35th scale right now. So that leaf spring is as tall as a man. It's just a really massive piece. And you get two sprues of that one, that one I just showed you. And then right here, this is a very long piece right here. And this is going to be for the actual truck. So think about how big this truck is. This truck is about a foot long in 35th scale. So obviously it's big enough that it can hold a, uh, a Panzer II in its back. And then you've got some of the uh, the underneath part of the engine. You got your, your drivetrain right here. Some of the other components for your front grill. 
And then here, look at the side, look at this guys. This is the, the bed of the truck. So that will be really cool to weather up and paint. Giant hood on it right here. And then a couple other little sprues here that make up some of the, so here's some of the, the leaf springs, probably for the trailer. You got your, your jack, things like that. And then you get two sprues of this. This is some more of the wheels and some of the wood. And speaking of wheels, let me show you those right now. So you're going to get two bags of wheels, the big ones and the little ones. The big ones are for the truck, and they are really, really tall. A 35th scale man, these are probably about four and a half feet tall in uh, real scale. And then the little tiny wheels for the back. And there's also a clear part sprue, which I have still back in the box. But for a $79 retail, I think this is actually a really good value for the uh, for the price of this vehicle. And you know, it's molded up by, like I said, the people make Tacom, and I've built quite a few of those kits lately, and they have all built up very, very well. So very excited. Uh, probably won't get started on this one right, right away because it, it's uh, about 10 projects ahead of it, but it does have a lot of really cool possibility. Okay, the next kit we're going to take a look at is a brand new 30-second scale P40F Warhawk from Trumpeter. And P40's always kind of had a special uh, place in my heart growing up. Uh, had a bunch of little toys, but loved the, uh, the, the shark's mouth on there, the teeth on it. I always thought it looked really, really cool as a little kid. So let me show you what is inside this one right here. First of all, we'll take a look at the... Uh, Exhaust, as you can see right here, they're molded in half, so they'll be hollowed out once you get them all done, as well as those are, are hollow as well, the way they molded it. And in this sprue right here, we've got our tail pieces, as well as part of the main wing. And there is the main uh, main wings, and you can see how large they are. We're talking about, about 14, 15 inches long total. There's a little close-up of the detail that is in the wing, all the rivets. And here is our fuselage. And finally, we have the sprue that has the prop on it. Uh, drop tank, parts of the, uh, the sides of the, uh, the cockpit, and that makes up all the parts. There is a couple of frets of photo etch we have right there, and we also have our wheels, which are the, the rubber on there. And this kit has a retail of $79 in the United States and actually is available right now. We just got them in as well. Almost forgot too. The most important part is the uh, the markings that come with this kit. And here are the markings right here for the, uh, the P40F. Looks like you get at least three different variants that you can build up on this one. Okay, and finally we're going to take a look at the new 350th scale trumpeter 
Holstein Battleship, 1935. And we're just going to go briefly over this one right here and just show you some of the main uh, selling points on this kit, we'll call them. First of all, you can see right off that it's a uh, definitely a pre-World War I ship. In fact, just by the bow and the general shape, it's very, very fat and bulbous looking. And then all of these extra little little areas that usually had guns on them right there. It's definitely looking like even, even pre-Dreadnought. So that is our hull. It's a two-part hull. Then we have our main deck and some of the other decks from the superstructures. And I love the I love the way Trumpeter did these right here. These little superstructures are really cool. And then finally here we're, we've got there are a few other little little tiny sprues, but first of all the guns are slide molded, as you can see right there. All the guns. We have our turrets. You actually get three of this particular sprue right here. So some of the uh, the launches. Some of the other little accessories, anchors, things like that, more launches, the guns. So you get three of those and also these little tiny turrets. And also, this particular kit comes with a full assortment of photo etch. So we have all the railings, those look like duplicate uh, photo etch sets. And then there's a couple more over here. So we've got all of the photo etch to do all of the railings all around the superstructures and the actual main part of the, the hull. Now, this kit retails in the United States for about $100, which is not too bad considering the amount of photo etch you get. And it looks like to be a nice looking ship. Also, it looks like it's all gray. So not any crazy paint, paint jobs you need to put up the side of it right there. And this kit too is also available right now. In fact, I have it here in my store. Okay, we also just got in a sample of the box art for a new kit that will be arriving very soon from Model King slash Mobius. And this will be the 1965 Ford F100 service truck. This is going to be a highly sought after model. It is probably due out in about a month or two. No actual confirmation on the date yet, but I think this will work out really well for all the modelers wanting to do uh, work trucks or service trucks like this. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick breakdown of some hot new kits that are out on the market, or in the case of uh, this fawn, will be out on the market very, very soon. Uh, it's very excited about these right here. There's always great to see new kits, especially just before Christmas. Now, as a quick channel update, uh, I'm going to try my hardest to get another uh, build video or two out before Christmas. It's a very busy time of the year for me, as you guys might well expect, so we're going to, fingers crossed, try our hardest to get some more out. Uh, also, like I said in the last video like this, the preview, I want to wish everybody a, um, a Merry Christmas now going into the holiday. It's, uh, it's a great time to be a modeler, too. Lots of cool Christmas presents you might be getting. So, hey, I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.